Creep Hall, it's Miss Rochelle, and today I am going to read to you one of my favorite stories that I love, love, love to read when I was a little girl in elementary school, just like you guys. It is called The Tub People, and it is written by Pam Conrad. So, this is a really great story, and I hope you enjoy it. So, the tub people stood in a line all day from the edge of the bathtub. There were seven of them. They always stood in the same order. The father, the mother, the grandmother, the doctor, the policeman, the child, and the dog. And here they are right here. They were made out of wood, and their faces were very plain. They could smile or frown or cry or laugh. Sometimes they would even wink at each other. But it hardly ever showed. The father of the tub people liked to play sea captain. He would take the mother, the grandmother, and the child for a ride on the floating soap. The others stood on the edge of the tub and waved. Once in a while, the child of the tub people would slip off into the soap, into the warm bath, and yell, help, help, and the captain would rescue him. We're coming, we're coming. The policeman and the doctor liked to have water races, bobbing from one end of the tub to the other. The child would cheer. The grandmother would say, hush, you're very noisy. When bath time was over, the tub people always lined up along the edge of the bathtub, the father, the mother, the grandmother, the doctor, the policeman, the child, and the dog. And here they are playing their little games. I believe they're playing sea captain here. But one evening, Bath water began rushing down the drain before they were lined up, pulling all the other tub people this way and that. The soap danced over the drain, turning and turning the top of the uh, on, at the top of the whirlpool, standing on the soap, getting dizzier and dizzier and dizzier, was the child of the tub people. Help! Help! He cried, but. This time, the father could not save him. So here's the illustration right here. It's like a whirlpool, and then you've got the child right here. He's stuck on that soap. And the tub child disappeared down the drain without a sound. So there he goes into the drain. The tub mother pressed her face to the grating. And a grating is like this thing right here. It's on a drain. It basically like lets certain things go in and down your bath drain. <clears throat> she looked for her tub child, but she could not see him. Later that night, the tub people lined up on the edge of the tub, just the six of them. The soap was soft back in, as, as it hung from the faucet. The tub people were very sad. Here they are. They're all lined up, except the tub child's not with them. The next night, the six tub people climbed onto the washcloth raft. They called for their tub child. <clears throat> of course, they knew exactly where the child had gone, but... Somehow they felt comforted by calling for him. Honey, where are you? Come home now. Please come back. But he did not answer. Every evening, the tub people continued to float in the bathwater. But in time, they just stopped calling. And they never winked at each other anymore. So here they are, calling for that tub child, wondering if he's ever going to return. Then... An unusual thing happened. The bathwater began going down the drain slower and slower. Big people came and peered, that means they looked, into the tub. What's the matter with the tub drain? They asked. They filled the room with deep voices and blocked the light. What's the matter with the tub drain? They kept on asking. The tub people stood woodenly in their line. If they could have spoken, they would have shouted out what a terrible drain that was and how it had sucked away their little tub tub child. But they were silent. 
And here is the tub child. He's stuck in the drain right there and he's blocking the water from going down. That afternoon, a big man came and pried off the drain cover, grunting as he worked. He shone a light down the drain and frowned. Then he pushed in a long wire and a jig, jiggled it up and down, up and down. Come home now, the grandmother whispered. And out of the drain popped the little tub child, wet and tired. So there he is. He's out of the drain now. Let's see what happens next. The tub people stood in a line, quietly watching. One by one, they smiled. The father, the mother, the grandmother, the doctor, the policeman, and the dog. The tub mother had little soapy tears falling from her eyes. But the big man did not look at them. He tossed the tub child into his toolbox, shut it with a click, and he left. The tub people waited for bath time, hoping their tub child would come back. But bath time never came. It grew later and later, and still they waited, worrying all the while. And here is the tub child. He's in that man's toolbox. Are they ever going to be reunited? Finally, when they felt they could wait no longer, they were lifted up carefully, carried into a new room, and gently placed on a large, soft bed. It seemed just like water to them, except it was dry, and it was very firm. And there were seven of them. <gasps> Once again, the tub dog knocked his little wooden head against the tub child's head, and very quietly, they all laughed. So here they are. It looks like they're on a blanket or a quilt or something on a bed right here. And the tub child is reunited with his family. There was a thick quilt on the bed. And when it was all bunched up, they would go mountain climbing. The father liked to be the leader. And he would lead them up one side of the mountain. And then they would all tumble easily down the other. The grandmother liked to hide under the pillow and have everyone come find her. The chub child liked to fall off the edge and have his father rescue him. So here they are. It looks like they're playing mountain climber. Or maybe the tub child's fallen off the edge and the father has rescued him. Each night when the lights went out, they lined up along the window seal, just as they had along the bathtub edge. The father, the mother, the grandmother, the doctor, the policeman, the child, and the dog. So here they are. They're lined up in their new home on the window seal, which is in the bedroom now. But each morning when the sun came shining in on them, something would be very different. The tub child would like standing between the tub mother and the tub father, their sides barely touching. And if you looked very, very closely, you would see they all had smiles on their small wooden faces. So there's their new order right there. The child is in between his mother and his father. And that is the end of our story. I hope you enjoyed the story today. I am so looking forward to the day when I can see all of your smiling faces. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.